Welcome everyone. We'll go right ahead and introduce on the top table the head coach of Tonga, Totuai Kefu, and the captain, Ben Tamefuna. Um, questions, we'll go straight to questions today. Uh, the interpretation system is in use, so if you wouldn't mind waiting for the microphone, please, and also giving your name and the name of your media before you close your question. Uh, first question, please. In the front row. Sorry, um, Ilyas, uh, Radio New Zealand Pacific. Uh, just Tutai and uh, Ben, uh, tough battle out there. Uh, your comments and um, what's your uh, feeling right now? <coughs> um, bit of mix, mix emotion, sort of feeling. Um, I know the boys played with their hearts out there. Um, I know the score doesn't reflect how much effort we put in to this week. Um, like I said to the other guys, it's um, you can't afford to give easy penalties like that to the team like Scotland with the amount of uh, strike power they have in the backs there. Um, and they just capitalised on it. And, you know, so, so I think for us next week, we just got to have a look, look ourselves in the mirror. Um, obviously, against South Africa, um, you know, they, we can't afford to give them like easy Easy ball like that. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm still proud of the boys. You know, we we fronted right there to the 80th minute. You know, they would have taken the easy route, tap it, kick it out. But the boys decided to have a crack. You know, and um, I'm, I'm still proud of the boys and how we perform. Just got to look forward to next week. My <laughs> uh, Lord Pacific Media Network, uh, Ben. Just quickly, um, any injury there with you coming off? No, I just. You know, big pumpers, I get a bit cramped. So, uh, um, nah, nah, it was, it was just yeah, a bit of cramp there. Uh, but well, we'll get the medical analyzer, but I think uh, yeah, it's a bit of cramp, that's what I felt. Hopefully nothing seriously pops up tomorrow, but yeah. And just a, a follow-up on that, uh, last two matches, uh, Tier 1 Nations around the 55-60 mark. Um, it seems to be a bit of cramp or things like that yeah. with the team. Do you think that's reflective of the build-up that you guys are able to have before a tournament? I think that just shows the, what it takes to be, you know, playing against Tier 1 teams. Um, as you see, um, our build-up has been against Tier 2 and or below, you know, it's... Um, but it goes to show what it takes to be at the top one nation. Obviously, the pace is faster and, and all that, and, but, you know, we, we have to just adapt to that. Next question, please. Tia Rai, um how does that compare tonight to what you guys faced against uh, Ireland and how easy or difficult will it be to turn ahead now to South Africa? Um, yeah, I think the difference between, the biggest difference between both games um, was we, we, we got some ball to fire some shots um, um, and, and we took some opportunities, um, scored a couple of tries. Uh, There's probably a couple of opportunities we missed as well. Just weren't able to put sustained pressure on on them. Um, so, and I think looking at, um, I think we missed quite a number of one-on-one -on -one tackles. Um, but the effort effort was good. There were some really good defensive sets there, but you know. It, takes a lot of juice out of the boys um, so much much better effort compared to last week um, you know all we can do is just keep building and, and hopefully regather and um, put in a much better effort next week um, coach we we saw some big hits out there um, how do you maintain that kind of physicality to your game without perhaps getting into a situation like today where you, I believe you've had a yellow and a red? Yeah, um, are you talking about the red card? Yeah, yeah look, it's na that's natural for us. Um, you know, I think once we do start to get, when we defend for long periods, obviously, um, takes a bit of juice out of us and, and, and we do become a little bit inaccurate. Um, so 
Look, I think we, well, we've got to hold on to the ball for starters um, and, and be able to fire some shots at the other team. Um, you know, we lost both possession and territory today. So again, uh, the ability to put other teams under sustained pressure um, was missing tonight. A um, bit better than the other night, um, but um, we need to do more. So, Christian in the front row, yes. Just wondered if uh, either of you had any comments about that try at the uh, end of the first half. Was that Ben's try? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bulldozing run. I think the ball just came to my hands and. Oh, is it? No, that was in the, oh, that that was the, the first half. Yeah, the second half. The, the one at the end of the first half where it looked like I'd been held. Uh, on the ground there. Ben, you seemed a bit upset about that. Oh, on the ground. Oh, yeah, I think it was a knee on the ground and I think oh, I think when the knee goes on the ground, it's a tackle, so I think he sort of went with momentum, so yeah, it's a question that question the ref on that, so. You've both been pretty polite about the refereeing tonight, but it's, do you have any thoughts about some of those calls out there? Oh, yeah, I thought there was some 50-50 calls we probably missed out on. Um, Couple of ones come to mind. Just that maybe that overthrow uh, that wasn't they called wasn't in straight. I think it was fifty fifty. I think um, wasn't that bad. I didn't think. Any more questions in the room for coach and captain from Tonga? <coughs> uh, they probably just the last one from me. Um, Chances for quarterfinal uh, looks very slim now with the two losses. Um, two more games to go. Uh, no, what does that mean for Tonga going forward? Yeah, well, we've always just based our pride in our performance. That's, that's what we've always um, wanted to put out on the field. And, and we wanted to put a performance that not only us, but family and the country was proud of. And um, I think the boys did that in largely. Um, again, probably we let in a lot of easy tries um, and we did that in the first game. Um, but there were some really good defensive efforts where the boys were absolutely on song and, and, and held out the team, the opposition team for long periods. So, um, you know, but um, we, I think we're tracking the right way. Uh, we'll take each game as it comes. We always have said that. Uh, South Africa is a massive challenge. You don't get to play the spring box often. So the boys will be up for that. There's no doubt about it. Um, but we'll just keep punching away and, and, and keep doing our best. <coughs> that sure played both Ireland and Scotland now. The two teams are face each other in the last game in a potential shootout for qualification. How closely matched are they? or do, And do you feel Scotland would have a chance of competing against Ireland in that? Yeah, definitely. Um, look, the, both teams were, were awesome against us and they both totally deserve to, to beat us. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's, there's, there's probably much in it. Um, I think they're probably two very even teams. Um, you know, I think with Ireland now, a huge amount of confidence from the last couple of games and also being the number one team in the world, Six Nations Championships, huge, huge belief. Um, and, and that confidence is, 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 is enormous. You know, players go into training week and into games with a high level of, of belief and confidence and that's bloody, bloody hard to beat sometimes. Question here in the front row, please. Oh. We'll go here and then here. Uh, probably the last one for me. Um, it's been a bit made about uh, Tonga's lack of resources, um, lack of finances, which was probably highlighted today the most in the crowd. With um, you know, it felt like there was maybe 300 Tongans and 30,000 Scots people out there. It's, um, I'm wondering, like, how does that affect you guys um, being over here on the other side of the world? And it's, you know, um, being so far away from uh, the people back back home. Yeah, well, <clears throat> obviously, it's 
been the same for years, you know, and that's what I love about this group. You know, we get hit with these things off field, but we still play together. We, we put our best foot forward with what we have. Um, you know, the boys never tend to complain or, or do any of that. You know, you just head down and just keep moving forward because we can't let, try and let those things affect us um, off the field because obviously we're just flowing on the field. And But, you know, the boys all just put their head down and, and do what we can best can do with, with what we have. I think we don't have a question over here. Are there any more questions in the room? If that's not the case, I think we'll conclude there. Thank you very much. Merci. Hey. Yeah. I'll have to, brother. <laughs> 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 <laughs>